Welcome to Home Alchemy's very first experiment. Today we will be making copper carbonate out of two very common and easy to obtain chemicals. Copper sulfate pentahydrate and sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate also known as baking soda. Okay, this is the materials and chemicals needed. You will first need copper sulfate pentahydrate also known as root killer. You also need sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. You also need a digital scale, a one liter beaker, Okay, here we have about 100 grams of pure copper sulfate. Here I have 67.2 grams of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. Okay, here I have weighed out the two chemicals, um, baking soda and copper sulfate, copper sulfate. And now I'm gonna dissolve the copper sulfate into 400 milliliters of water. And now I'm going to use um, a magnetic stir to speed up the reaction. Isn't that amazing? The blue color. It looks so beautiful. Right? Yep. Okay, here we have our fully dissolved solution of copper sul sulfate in water. And now we're going to mix um, this solution with the 67 grams of baking soda and it will cause fizzing and bubbling. So be careful not to add too much because, because it will overflow. But add only after the fizzing has died. Whoa. Oh my bad. Whoa, take a look at that, will ya? As you can see, he's putting baking soda in the... As you can see, we were putting vinegar in the copper sulfate. <clears throat> okay, we can prove that this is um, carbon dioxide being produced because when you light a match over it, it automatically goes out. Okay, as you can see, the reaction here is almost done. And we had um, a cup of copper sulfate in water. And then we added some so sodium bicarbonate to form this green precipitate, copper carbonate. And a solu the solution inside is sodium sulfate. And the gas produced is carbon dioxide, or the bubbles, and H2O. Okay, here's a, a solution of copper carbonate with some water on top, and now we are going to decant. And now we've um, set up for gravity filtration. Okay, um, now we have filtered all the water from our um, copper carbonate. 
And now we're just going to put it into the oven to get rid of the excess water. We're gonna dry it for about a couple hours till it's dried. Okay, um, now right here is our final product of copper carbonate.